Hey guys, the objective of this video is to introduce you to Coulomb's method. We're going to be looking at the undrained for active and passive force diagram for Coulomb's method. We're going to be, from that diagram, being able to find the weight, the cohesion in the wall, and the cohesion on the soil. We're then going to draw the vector force, uh, vector force polygon to scale, and then we're going to find the total force on a wall. So we're not going to actually do any numerical examples. This is just going to introduce you to all the, the process and the formulas. So, first of all, Coulomb's method. So in the previous video we saw Rankine's method for a retaining wall. So we had a wall and we converted vertical forces to horizontal stresses. So vertical stress to a horizontal stress. Now in Coulomb's method it's a little bit better because what we do is, is we can analyze a failure plane. So instead of going from vertical to horizontal we analyze a plane, a failure plane. So at an angle, so we analyze this plane and how it fails. The benefit of Coulomb's method compared to uh, Rankine's method is that we can deal with any geometry. So say for example we had more of a slope like this on our wall which went up, we'd be able to consider that slope where in Rankine's method we wouldn't be able to. Um, we can also consider friction between wall and soil, which we couldn't do in Rankine's method. So we can consider friction along the wall and soil interface, uh, which would develop. So just in this video, we're going to be looking at the undrained formulas. So for undrained, which is obviously a total stress analysis, total stress analysis, we're going to be looking at the uh, parameters phi u and cu, so those are the undrained parameters, but also we need to have these new parameters, which is phi of the wall and c, the cohesion of the wall. So we've just got undrained parameters where we're using phi w and cw as well included in our undrained total stress analysis. So now what I'm going to do is, is we're going to analyze this failure.